across America are being torn down and what's inside can be lost or destroyed forever. But not if Mike and Robert get there first. Bring it down just a little bit. From an old farmhouse to an abandoned mill, together they restore, repurpose, or resell whatever salvage they can find. Now, this is a no fun thing. They're saving pieces of history and America one salvage job at a time. The value just keeps going up. They are the Salvage Dogs. Come up with the particulars for the contracts. I got the names. I'm just hey, don't team. know what we're getting. Hey, Good man. Night. What are y'all doing morning. just standing around? What's happening? Hey, we're doing business here, man. Good day, Mike. We're talking about next week, not last well, I week. I haven't been standing around. I've been collecting. I got something in the uh, in shipping and receiving you guys might be interested in. Put on your dancing shoes, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I have any. Oh, I know you don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the dramatic music. All right. When I first came in and just saw this box, I was like, what did they find? I had no idea what was going to be inside. Right. Ooh, I hope this is good. Look at that. Check it out. It's a portable army phonograph. Okay? Oh, so it's, it's the old yeah. style. In the field. And this might be World War One, maybe. Gosh, it doesn't, it doesn't look that old. Here's what we do. Yeah. This is the old style. You know, this is this is like a Model A. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no batteries. You didn't have to plug it in. So that's, I guess, why they gave them to the soldiers for a little bit of livelihood yeah. in the field. Oh, wow. Check it out. Speed it up a little bit, Robert. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. Look, Mike's doing an interpretive dance. <laughs> is that the speaker? It kind of sounds like it's under. Now, what's happening is there's a diaphragm in here that vibrates. Sure. Right? The sound kind of goes down this way into a box and underneath. We've had older ones, even with the cylinders. Uh, you know, with the big horn on it? Well, that's what that little cardboard box inside the thing was, was basically the speaker. There's the workings of it. Yeah, it's coming down through the channel. So simple. It's a novelty. It's, it's kind of a cool piece. Military people that like that kind of stuff, they don't really care what it is. It's just a box. It's got a... Well, it's it's great. if that's the case, then we just need to get a gallon of that paint and <laughs> start painting everything. Anyway, well another done. part of our collection. That's it. Yeah. All right. Now shipping's got a sound system. It continues to grow <laughs> and grow and grow. Hi, folks. We're headed north to Pittsburgh this week. Cool. Still town. Hey. Yeah. We're headed to the theater. St. Michael's Catholic School, but really it's this building that is just a big theater. When was it built? 1900. Yeah. It's got a presence to it. And it's got a lot of cool stuff in it, like the crosses on the roof. This is oh, the facade. Wow. Those are big. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, go back. And there's a bell up there. Yep. Now inside, there's a bunch of really cool glass. There's also a crucifix. We've got two days slated right. hopefully we can do it in a day and a half but yep. before we go we got a project i in got the a basement, project right? i want to get going on we're going to use some of these decrepit old ladders wooden ladders i got an idea of, of making a console using the ladders and the rungs for the shelf brackets sure it's all going to be reused i'm always looking for uh upcycled items and from what I have on the floor. And what I have on the floor today are old wooden ladders. All right, I like it. Right. So let's go ahead and take this thing downstairs right. and start cutting her up. 
I won't step on but an old wooden ladder. I, I, you know, I got a few pounds on me, so uh, the chance of me breaking one is pretty good. <laughs> so, so we're gonna use, we're gonna cut them up. So what I've got in mind is I want to make a wall console that can be a TV platform or just a shelf. These will be the sides. So the first thing is, is, you know, hopefully these rungs are all the same spacing. If the rungs aren't level, the shelf will be crooked. This is the bottom shelf. This is the floor where it sits. The floor is right here. Then we're going to go up. Top's going to be at 36. When I cut it, I'm going to have it about three inches off the ground to the first rung. <laughs> That'll be the bottom shelf. Then we'll size it again to the next rung, and then it can support another shelf. Right. Awesome. We're kind of doing this on the fly. You can make it anything you want. You want a short shelf, you want a long shelf. As long as you got enough wood on the ladder, that's what you can make. So All right. these are our sides. Put one on either end. This is the bottom. Of that? Yeah, we can bring this up. So that's three and a half inches right there. I'm gonna come in and put a couple of pieces of flooring that we got from Glade Spring perfect amount of wood to sit right down here in the shelf. You need to rip that? Yeah, let's just see how it's going to look first. So there's your bottom shelf. You know, real rustic. Just to having the paint alone just gives it that rustic look. Alright, let's put this one up. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> So this needs to be flush with the back, right? Right, because we're going to put the beadboard right. on. I've got some really cool blue beadboard. And it is, I mean, I just love this this blue. It's kind of a pale blue, and it, it's, it's cool. So I'm going to use that as the back is so, so people can, you know, you can put it up against the wall without seeing the wall. Heavier. Good gosh, that's beautiful. That's awesome. We're going up to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we've never done a salvage job in Pittsburgh itself. And there's an old Catholic girls' school called St. Michael's. This building is in pretty rough shape, but it's still built like a brick. It's amazing how much of this building is still in good shape, but the demo ball is probably going to be swinging on it. We're at the St. Michael's Catholic, Catholic School, school built yeah. in the 1900. It's had a little rough life the last couple of years, so uh, there's not a whole lot left. Things of importance are there's two crosses, or three crosses. Three crosses on, on the top. roof that you and I tailgate. There's yeah. a bell, oh, Ooh. Cool. which, you know, we always want bells. Also, a bunch of great glass in yep. here. Uh, there's a crucifix that we need to get, a big, large one. Oh, wow. And uh, then finally, the... Uh, Auditorium's got some good stuff in it. The theater, the stage, okay. oh, all wow. sorts of uh, props. Let's put on a show. I think we'll put on a show. Let's do it. The plan <laughs> is, is Tay and Mike are going to go on the roof. The three of us are going to go after all the glass and the doors. Okay. And then we'll all meet up in the auditorium Make for the that. show. Okay. Do it. Do it. One, two, three, go. Oh, do I have to be on the roof? We had a lot of ground to cover. This is a big place. We had a lot to do. The building itself was very solid. 
There's been a long struggle to try to uh, save this building, uh, but once we took a look at it, I could understand why the developer who was going to try and save it and reuse it is having second thoughts. Let's do it. Up, up, and away. Hey and I are always the high wire guys. Oh, I miss this harness. It means fun's about to happen. We're going to go up on the roof and, and do the, the big stuff, and that's kind of what we like. We're going to go up here and get the uh, three crosses, and then we're going to go on the other side of this, of this building and get the bell. While the boys were on the roof, Ted, Robert, and I were working in one of the, well, the main entrance to the theater. All right, let's start on the, on the chandelier and then maybe work on this uh, transom. We had originally intended to take the window out of the front of the thing, and once I took a closer look at it, there was no way we were going to get that out. So what we had to do was get the chandelier out. Is it plexi? No, it's glass. Yeah. You got it? It's okay. not light. No. It's not light. I got it. Yeah. It's kind of gothic style, very common for religious buildings. This one was a pretty high quality one. It is nice. If you had a, a foyer big enough to handle it, definitely could go in a residential use. Sure. It's probably worth about four hundred dollars. Whoa! And uh, so I'd say it was a good pick. The entry doors. The doors are hard pine. Now they've been beaten up a little bit because they nailed up some stuff. But this is this is the beginning of a very cool table. And there's some good wood there. Also the glass above it, the transom. The glass itself was what we were after. You got the top, Ted? I do. Come on, baby. Somebody had painted over most of this glass, but that's the Florentine pattern. It's hard to let go. And, Is uh, that what that's called? Yeah. That, that, that particular pattern, that little flight. flower. It's a flower. The transom probably sold for $275, $300. never been to Pittsburgh, but I'm sure many people haven't seen this view. Uh, awesome. Well, on the roof, there wasn't a great deal of stuff. There was three items that we wanted. All right, well, let's get this first. Okay. Which hooked me up here? The crosses. There's a center cross, which was a, a, made out of tin. And that was held on by just a shaft of wood. So all we had to do is just detach it from the roof and just lift it off. No problems. The other two were solid iron bar crosses. They were hand wrought iron crosses. Kind of a, I think it's a gothic cross, they call it. And, you know, looking up from the ground, it don't look that big. But you crawl up there beside them, they're huge. And then you start clinking on it, going, that's solid one and a half inch bar. And it's eight foot tall. The iron crosses are sweet, but they were heavy. Two, 250 pounds minimum. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to just cut them off and hand them to somebody. First off, make sure that we have those pieces tethered off so when it does come off the building, we can stop it. It doesn't take off. We're gonna have to cut them down like a tree and let them fall. We cut them 90% and then kinda just urged that last 10 give loose. So I'm gonna come on down. I was hoping that 
the chimney would guard it from coming too far onto the building. Right here, here. And it did. It stuck. Pull it off. I was hoping that the chimney would guard across from coming too far onto the building. Instead of just falling and going on down to the next level. Watch out, uh, those bricks aren't stable. I know. And it did. It stuck on the chimney. You got one of the arms of the cross is laying on top of the chimney. That's about it. It took a little more persuading to get it off. Well, what did we learn for round two? Find the shortest way to the ground. The second one did the same thing and hit the chimney and stuck. Push it and let it go. I'll get up there and do it. You ready? Yeah. Oh. One of them survived without a scratch, and the other one we had a little, like this, a little bend in it, a little bit of heat, placed in the right spot, will straighten it right back up. So they are basically no worse for wear, and they are gorgeous. And once that one gets straightened out, it'll sell as quick as the you other. You know what, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with a little imperfection. I believe we are in the uh, men's dressing room where everybody gets uh, dressed for the for the theater. There was 10 tons of stuff left in this building. And I mean, it had been used primarily in recent times strictly for this passion play. It's called Veronica's Veil. They've been doing this since like you know, 1915 or something like that in this same place. All the dressing rooms, everything that was left was from that play. We'll try not to break the legs. Get under. Dressing tables. It's going to be great. Well, that looks like 60s, late 50s, early 60s to me. Nice and heavy. Nice and heavy. Robert's already set the dressing tables up in his house. <laughs> The dressing room had some really cool windows in it. So they had this prismatic glass. That's cool glass. And there was lots of it. Big, big sashes. Old, big old sheets. Big, big old sashes. Yeah. People are trying to redo houses that have this glass in it. And they don't make it. Lower sashes come out quickly. Ta -da! And then you have to get up on the high sashes. This is going to be a problem. This one is very dangerous. It's jammed up, and also the, the whole sash is loose and coming apart. Man, most of those sashes were busted, and the glasses just wanted to, like, slip out of the thing. Yeah. And then you just got a guillotine. The sashes come apart, clear out. Don't be underneath it. What if we just take the four bottoms and call it? <laughs> that's, you know, that's, pretty close to where I'm at right now. Well, yeah, I mean, that's two, two sets. It seemed like these would be so easy. I'm really questioning how much this glass is worth. Even as, as rare as the glass is, 
We gave up on the upper sashes and took all the lower sashes and moved on. Made a safety choice on that one. Got yeah. half the glass. They were so tall, they were dangerous. <laughs> So once we got the crosses off the building and secure on the ground... Beautiful sight right there. We went looking for the bell. What I'm seeing right now, we got everything but the bell. Ooh. All we found were bell parts, but no bell. This is the support. So somebody has come in here and stole the bell. Supposed to be a nice one, but we had a little trouble finding it. This is the, the, the yoke? The yeah. Yolk, or is that the yoke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So we started looking. Somebody had taken it off its mount and moved it. The bell! How did they get it over here? This thing had to weigh a thousand pounds. Stuckstead. Stuckstead donated January 1st, 1903. Wow. By John and Teresa Sell. We had a little bit of abuse, but, you know, we can take that off. We'll probably send it out and... Get blasted. And be blasted. Get all the stuff off there. I mean, it'll really shine at that point. I really hate taking the patina off. But, yeah, but someone hasn't treated it real well, yeah. obviously. Now that we got the complete bell, we're probably looking at about 10 grand. There was no question that we had more work to do. Take a break, come back tomorrow, get it done. We got what we needed yeah. for today. Yeah. All we got left is the stage. stage. Yeah. yeah. And uh, saving the best for last. The first thing we did on the on the second day was take the crucifix out. The first there. thing we did was find out how heavy it was. <laughs> we found out out after we tried to take it out. <laughs> Are we gonna make the clearance right here? Yeah. yeah. I'll cut the top he says off. yes. No. Okay, yeah. where the lights are. Hello. Come on, everybody. I'm, I'm waiting for the, the hot Yeah, one. I think that's a good idea. Oh. Ah. No. Yeah. Hold, on. hold on, guys, hold on. Hey, watch I knew it. <laughs> Easy. Well, we mid, almost hit like the light fixture yeah. on the ceiling. Mid drop. <laughs> We're all sitting there straining to hold this thing up. Like, figure something out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, wow. this wasn't a hollow sculpture. This was a solid block of wood that was carved out of. Come on, come on down. Yeah, there that is. All right, you're on my foot. Okay. Now pivot it. Pivot the... You all right, Grayson? Yep. Pivot it over. Grayson, let yours down. Okay. Come on. Look right here. <laughs> well, that was easy. We didn't think that was going to be that tough. It probably weighs about five or 600 pounds, it appears. We probably would have tried to get it out the door without even really worrying about it, but the weight and the size of it really made you think twice about how you were going to get it out. Pick this guy up. All right. There we go. So we separated the sculpture from the cross, then it made it a lot easier. Man, we got some symbol symbolism here or what? <laughs> check this one out. What do you have for me today? I just brought it upstairs. Great reuse console. Yeah. Do you see what it is? Yeah, just old ladder. Your 
Basic louder. <laughs> You know, I just, uh, I, I love its completely upcycled piece. Everything on it was reused from jobs that we did. I think it's a beautiful piece, and, and, and with the color on it and the way that it finished out, it's got a presence. It's rustic beautiful. God, that's just a lot of good well, it's, it's all salvage, you know? So it's, uh, you know, we got almost bupkis in it. You know what bubkis what? is, yeah. right? <laughs> Can somebody tell me what bubkis is worth? Oh, about 20 bucks. <laughs> you know, it's already an antique material. Now we're just putting another go around. Yes, you know, I'm hoping someday I get another go around because I'm becoming an <laughs> antique myself. <laughs> I need an extension, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The theater itself, the actual stage, you could tell that everything in the in the back of this thing had been there forever. Well, I have no theater background at all. I'm not quite sure how all these all this stuff works. And there was some really cool hardware and different stuff back there that we tried to pick through. They're just ornamental cast rollers, and you know they. They make these in reproduction today, but these are a pair of originals. Hoist away. And then the uh, the tapestries, I guess, kind of the, the backdrop. What is it? Snow cap. Dang. Oh, it's the Rocky. Beautiful. That looks yeah. great from here. The show must go oh, on. Oh, I love that. Backdrops. Some of them are a little crispy. Yeah. I think that just adds value to it. <laughs> Here's how the rigging works. You just take a knife out and you cut them, and they drop to the floor. Looked like they had been there for, you know, probably 50 or 60 years. It's like a Roman field. Roman, yeah. Well, it's, they're all backdrops for the passion play. I thought those backdrops had a lot of potential. Well, I'm always hearing about people with have huge, big wall spaces. They're looking for something to hang, you yeah. know. So I think that's it. Uh, yeah? I think it's a wrap. Unless we want to put on a play, I guess we're all done. I'm done. Hey, we had a pretty good week here. It was a fantastic week, yeah. Mike. Started off with a phonograph. Yeah, the Army or something. It was Army. You made that awesome ladder console. We spent a couple days in Pittsburgh uh, with the St. Michael's uh, Girls School. We got great stuff out of there. The bell. I got the bell and the crosses from the top. We had a great week. And not often you get to do all this cool stuff and hang out in Pittsburgh. It's an awesome week. It's good to be us. Yeah.